All right, everyone. Hello, and welcome to the latest update for my isometric farming game. Uh, I have given it a name. It has been christened Coco Grow, and uh, I have put it into beta. And um, I'm going to have an open beta, so I'm going to post the binary to uh, Facebook and to my blog. So if you want to download it and try the game out, give me some feedback, that would be awesome. Uh, you can give feedback either directly via the blog or Facebook, or you can email me directly at uh, j.searle1973 at gmail.com. Um, that I will post that on Facebook and my blog as well. Uh, so what I want to do is go through where we're at with the beta version. Um, I've implemented just about every feature that I wanted to. Uh, and uh, the only thing that's not implemented that I still want to implement is the actual AI. Um, as you can see, this is the uh, title screen that you're looking at. And uh, so we have a couple options. We have uh, I takes us to the instructions, so it tells you how to play. Uh, one will take you to what is called time trial mode. Um, that mode is essentially you play to a cash value of 100 cash, and when you get there, the game will show you your time, and you can try to beat that time by going back in and playing the game over and over for a better time. Um, there will be three modes. Uh, for the AI, which would be against the computer. Um, that will be easy, hard, and ludicrous. And uh, as I said, that is not yet uh, implemented. And then I just put a small or a uh, line at the bottom to say that I am the one who made the game. Uh, so let's move on. I'm going to first thing I'm going to show you, this video might be a little long um, because uh, I'm going to kind of try to go through everything here. But um, we'll see what happens. Um, so uh, I'm going to press I here. And it uh, takes us to the how to play screen. So we'll just go through these quick. Uh, so main play screen is split into three sections. The upper left is your farm. The lower right shows what you have stored on your farm. The upper right shows the local selling point and the current price you can get for your crops. And the current season is shown here as well. In the center of the screen is your cash, and if playing the computer, the AI cash as well. Uh, every action on the farm is performed with the cursor. There are six different colored cursors. The red, green, orange, and yellow cursors are used to sow tomatoes, melons, pumpkins, and wheat. The pink cursor is used to plow tiles and can be used at any time. The purple cursor is used to harvest and can only be used for full-grown crops. You can cycle the cursor with the enter key and execute with space. Each crop has four stages of growth, and there I show the tomato, melon, pumpkin, wheat, and then what each of the four stages looks like, going from uh, stage zero to stage three for each one. Uh, selecting the crop with the <coughs> um, green selection icon. Using the S key, you can sell crops in quantities of 10 if you use the T key, 5 if you use the F key, and 1 at a time if you use the O key. Crops are grown at various rates and are worth various amounts depending on the season. The game has two modes. Uh, I already talked about the, them, but we'll go through them just real quick here. Uh, time trial, com uh, you'll compete against yourself to get the quickest time to a 100 cash. Um, I have the number at 100 right now so that uh, you can get through games quickly and look for bugs and such. Um, I will probably raise that to a higher number um, in the uh, when the game's actually released. Um, AI, you'll compete against the computer to reach 500 cash the fastest. So uh, whoever gets there first, you or the computer will win. And as I said, the AI mode has three difficulties, easy, hard, and ludicrous, and I have not implemented that mode yet. So we'll get through the uh, how to play instructions. It takes us back to the main screen. I'll press 1 to go to time trial mode. 
and it brings us to the screen that most of you are familiar with from prior uh, videos. So um, the green cursor, uh, little green, I guess, dot next to tomato, uh, you can see if I press S, that will go and select the um, cursor. I'm sorry, select the uh, crop. And I also added sound, so when you select with the selection cursor, you get a little beep. Um, I also gave myself 99 tomatoes just so I can show you guys some other features. Um, up top, if you click, I'm sorry, if you hit enter to change the cursor, you also get the same selection sound to let you know that the cursor changed. And then obviously, um, as I said in the instructions, you got the colors and what the cursors mean for each color. Um, up in the selling point we talked about, you can see that the um, different crops have different values that you can sell them for, and that will um, change by season. So you'll have to uh, familiarize yourself with what crops sell the best, uh, sell for the most at what season. And also when you're growing crops on your farm, depending on the season, they'll grow at different rates as well, depending on what season it is. Uh, so that would be part of the strategy of when to plant a crop so that you can get the best growth out of it and then when to sell it to get the most money for it. Uh, as you can see, the cash shows there in the middle. And uh, when I implement the AI um, piece of this, there will be an AI cache there as well. Um, so what will happen is, as I said, for the uh, time trial mode that we're in, you'll play to 100 cash. And what we'll do here is I'll sell my, when you sell, um, either T, F, or O, they all have a different sound, which I don't believe you guys are getting um, on the video, unfortunately. I haven't figured, been able to figure out how to get that sound to come through in the video, but when you download it and play it, you'll, you'll hear the uh, tones for each of the different types of cell, so that, um, you know, you'll learn over time the sounds will kind of tell you what what's going on you can see I have 96 cash right now and if I sell another 10 we'll go over a hundred we went over a hundred and it tells me that I finished and my time was two minutes and 21 seconds and then press R to try again if we press R it will take us back to the main menu and there we are uh, so I was wrong. This video is not very long at all. I thought it would be much longer um, than uh, what it ended up. I guess I didn't really do a whole lot of play, so I didn't have to wait for stuff to grow, so it actually wasn't that long. As I said, this is in beta. You guys can pick up a binary of it in the places I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Um, please go take a look at it. Uh, play it. Give me feedback. Let me know what you think. Um, Particularly if you find any bugs, let me know what they are, what you were doing, and where you were in the game when the bug occurred. And, um, yeah, give me feedback on whatever. Um, if there's anything that the game that's not in the game that you think would be uh, good to add. Now, I'm obviously not looking for any major changes, but if there's some, uh, some things that you either think the game should change the way it is now, or uh, something small that could be added to improve the the playability of the game or the play experience then uh, I'm going to listen to that um, and consider it uh, and that is really it uh, like I said please download play give me the feedback uh, I appreciate it and uh, I'll make another video when um, the game is I guess what I'll say is finished um, this game as it is right now I could submit to the uh, contest for Coco Crew um, but I'm not going to do that until I get some, hopefully some beta testers uh, give me some feedback, and then I'll move it into the final version. So um, that is it, and uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.